אנה קטרין, דייגו, ניצן, מנחם, שלום. שלום. Welcome to Israel, to both of you. The Israelis are at the right corner. Guys, will you be kind enough to tell us what brings you to Israel? I can ask the Israelis what brought you to Germany. Who would like to start? Uh, well, it's a nice preparation between uh, the Liszt Academy in Weimar and the Jerusalem Academy in Jerusalem, which uh, started two years ago. Um, it started in, like, Today, uh, first the Israeli group went to Germany and they had the rehearsal and concerts and then the opposite way, the German came to Israel and they had the concert and this year it was the same. Uh, six weeks ago we went to Germany and we had a week of rehearsal, a week, and then we had five concerts and two days ago, one day ago, Uh, you arrived, yeah, yesterday. <laughs> um, they are here, the Germans, and we had uh, yesterday night rehearsal, today rehearsal, now we have three concerts. Um, Hopefully it will go very well. Yeah. <laughs> so, we heard the Israeli side of the story. <laughs> now we must double check with the German guests. So, who will be courageous to start? Well, uh, I didn't do the project two years ago, it's the first time, and I, uh, I wanted really to see, to get to know the country, and it was the main reason to, to do the project, and well, I, we've been here only a day, but uh, I, I find like really a lot of things in common with, with more than, than Spain, than, I don't know, like people of the south. Than, than in Germany. It, basically, it's called the Mediterranean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anna Katrin, what do you um, have to I say? I did a project two years ago, and for me, it was also important to um, see the people again, how I met um, Germany and in Israel. And I like the country very much, and because of that, and a thousand other reasons, I want to make this project again. And so. Wonderful. Guys, what do you think makes this project so special? <coughs> Or more special than similar projects between two uh, music academies? Well, first of all, uh, projects of collaboration between academies are always a special thing. Uh, I think that this one between a German academy and uh, the academy from, uh, from Jerusalem makes it... Uh, more special because of the historical context between the, the two nations and uh, in, in both this uh, program and two years ago the first uh, program they were playing music by Jewish composers from, uh, from Europe uh, is, and, and it's a thing that continues as part of the project it's not just a collaboration between two uh, academies so, so a bit more than that I guess we need to remind also that the reason I think it all started uh, was the archive in uh, the Weimar, Weimar that opened and they found there a lot of music, some of it of um, composer, Jewish composer that were forgotten by the years <coughs> and uh, Professor Volpe was there um, I think he was the one that made it out. When you play together, when you rehearse together, can you tell of differences between uh, the way Israeli musicians uh, play, in German or Spanish? <laughs> Don't not, be shy. Uh, special, not G- give it to us straight. Uh, well, not especially in the playing, but uh, the rehearsing, it's like... Yeah, the mentality is different of rehearsing. I was I was very comfortable but yeah. like the day, like the second day of rehearsal my my desk neighbor like asked me he, he arrived like one minute before the rehearsal started like it's 
I guess it's normal for here in Spain. It's absolutely normal. It's getting early. But he, he told me that uh, he was told to be late. And like it's, in Germany, I, I noticed that it's very strict. Um, like in the time and in the way of, of working. It's, it's not the same as, uh, as here. I, I noticed today that it's more relaxed here. Uh -huh. Anything else, guys, you'd exactly. like to tell us? Even as a percussion player, when I spoke with, the, with my colleagues from the Weimar Academy, you see there's a difference in the way, in, in the actual techniques of the way you play. In Germany, they say, that's how my teacher told me, and that's exactly how I'm, I'm playing. And in Israel, it's much more fluid, uh, and it has advantages to both sides. And uh, the combination between the two, I think is one, one of the things that makes this orchestra sound the way it does. Uh -huh. What can we wish you guys for the future? First of all, that we will have a uh, good concert. Good concert. Good concert. <laughs> a good Israeli too, of course, yeah. but beyond it? Well, I would, I would, I would like to skip, of course, but uh, like, this, like the spirit of this project to, to exchange with with people from other places, uh, I think for a musician it's like very important, and uh, not just as a musician, as a person, it, uh, it's a really enriching uh, experience. Beautifully said, if we may say so. Yeah. Anna Katria? Um, yes, for the future, I, I like this project. I, such yes, good to um, know other people and. Uh, get to know other uh, techniques maybe and to can uh, yes, teach not teach um, we teach them and they teach us that this yes, is very important for uh -huh. musicians the interaction yes the interaction. <laughs> wonderful the, <laughs> the Israelis what do you have to say for yourselves I think we hope the connection with the German will continue um, and will become deeper. I think it's a good experience. We cannot ignore uh, the historical reason and I think it's good to do, to do those projects that combine us together. Wonderful. Guys, we want to wish you a wonderful Israeli tour. Enjoy it, enjoy each other and keep on uh, this wonderful uh, collaboration. Thank you. Thank you.